embark on an extraordinary journey with Bering yachts as we set sail aboard the magnificent Bering B-92 Papillon Superyacht on an unforgettable expedition to the Silver Bank in the Dominican Republic. Join us as we collaborate with Yacht for Science. The journey of Papillon started in Freeport, Bahamas. It was a very, very tough weather. Uh, the boat went for five days and five nights through 30 to 40 knot wind and 15 to 20 foot sea. So I think the best uh, who would share their experience is the crew. Um, so, but it was a 850 miles journey in a very severe weather, which is not typical for Bahamas, for this part of the Caribbean, this season, however. We didn't change the schedule, so the boat, as usually bearing, was alone at sea. It was not much commercial and zero pleasure traffic. So the boat was going alone. We get our stuff loaded on the boat and departed early in the morning. So we came to Silver Bank, it was already dark. Uh, we anchored and in the morning, wake up surrounded by whales. That was an unbelievable experience. And then we were there for five consecutive days. The, the wind was between 20 to 25 knots, which is fine. But if you take a dinghy ride to go and see whales and or, you know, like go around, it's a wet ride. But we had a three meals a day serviced on the table. The boat is super stable with a gyro and fins. Uh, we had pretty much one degree roll at this sea condition and uh, just gentle up and down motion which didn't disturb anything on board, anything. So we were doing our chores, we, we were having just normal life in the middle of the ocean, 80 miles offshore, surrounded by whales. Then we get back to Puerto Plata and disembarked the boat and boat immediately departed to journey back to Freeport uh, actually, Abacos uh, to meet the next charter. The crew didn't have any any time. They had just 24 hours to prep the boat for the charter. Basically, they were servicing the charter with us on board with uh, nine nine guests. It's pretty much full house. So we were occupying all five staterooms and in comfort. So nobody complained. Everybody. We're pleased with service, with uh, accommodations, with the stability of the platform. Everybody performed, you know, like it was a lot of filming, a lot of small post-production or formatting the files, a lot of like chemical analytic lab uh, activity was going on. So everything was going smooth. So the whole journey was basically around 2,000 miles. Uh, the boat didn't need to fuel up or anything. So, and it's immediately went to charter after that. So Bering is a very, very robust platform. We again proved that we can withstand any condition and we are on schedule. We don't change the plans for the weather, even if it's kind of tough, but it's manageable, boat is safe. So my personal experience, first of all, I, I didn't have uh, expectations. It's, it's, um, I didn't know what to ex expect. Uh, it's not that I'm so disciplined that I have no expectation. No, I didn't know what to expect. I knew it's going to be absolutely unbelievable to see so many whales in one spot, but I didn't expect anything else. So, but uh, we had a very, very interesting group of people. We shared the stories. Um, every meal, uh, every f spare time uh, turned to very, very fruitful conversation, very interesting conversation. 
and I learned so much. I learned so much about different aspects of uh, environmental studies. Everybody's perform what they did, what they think about environment in general, about what's going on with our planet, what we should do, what we shouldn't do. You know, it's for me. I used to be. I used to work. My my first job was uh, I was a scientist in environmental protection lab. <laughs> And so that's, that was in my previous life, I guess, like 40 years ago. However, I still remember something and it was interesting subject for me. You know, it's, it's uh, great to see whales so close. I have seen whales before in, in my hometown and killer whales and uh, sperm whales and everything. But the quantity and the fact that they, they, they deliver babies there and the babies with mothers are roaming around and you often see the calf and the mother who's uh, teaching how to swim, how to breathe, you know, like a first steps. It's very touching moments and I think the preservation of whales is a great, great, great thing in general. You know, they're great creatures, great sea creatures, very smart, very gentle. So it was like reconfirmation to me. You know, again, I learned and I was amazed how great Bering is uh, in a real sea condition. We were doing something on schedule, which we're, it's, we're very hard to put together this pool of people coming from different parts of the world at the same time to do one, one thing. And, you know, something goes wrong, mechanical failures, uh, you know, delays due to the weather it would fall apart. It would be very hard to, to put it all back together. But fortunately, we had a bearing and it went through 15, 20 foot sea for five consecutive days, get there right on time. We did everything we scheduled to do as per our plan and bearing depart to meet the charter. So it's a, it's a working rig and I'm proud that everybody felt safe, felt secure comfortable and uh, can operate like full, full performance. Nobody had seasickness, although people had experienced it before, but they quit to uh, take any trauma, <laughs> like they realize they don't need it. So, and like I said, our sea was never less than five, six foot, uh, occasionally eight, 10. So that's, that's another great property of bearing. It's keep you uh, well. I think we will encourage our customers who are now getting deliveries, so we delivered uh, seven boats this year, we will encourage our customers to learn and see if they would like to participate. Me personally, I would like to participate in some underwater archaeological studies. I know in the Mediterranean it's several several expeditions who need these boats uh, as, as a platforms for underwater excavations and it's what fascinates me. I like to dive, I like our archaeology and it's you know all comes together I will use any chance to participate in something like this or put together something like this I think our crew can speak for themselves. However, many occasions uh, I had the chance to talk extensively with the captain because I like to spend my time on the bridge and the captain liked to, to pilot from the uh, upper helm in the flybridge. And we had long nights of conversations and I think uh, he expressed how much crew appreciate the boat after they went through you know, some stormy weathers and they realized how safe, how predictable emotions how you know basically everything going life is normal nothing abnormal happening they were really impressed because they never experienced it before they had some experience on the fiberglass boats smaller boats bigger boats though but uh, this is the first time a heavy displacement boat expedition boat and uh, the crew is uh, pleased to work and they said that's it's the safest feelings they had for a long time at sea.
I think everybody have a purpose in life. And to be on the water, we're all making up the purposes. We go in somewhere, we have a destination, or we have a purpose to fish or purpose to dive somewhere. So we always have purpose. And to be in an expedition like this, you, you do have a, a bigger purpose and you make some use of your yacht ownership. You spend the best time of your life communicating with people who are doing something for science, for environment. On the edge, you know, for me it's so fascinating to participate in underground excavation. When you see it, you, you're first who see it. You know, before it get published, before it get to museums, before and you, you hear the conversations of people who do an excavation, they give their comments, they get their conclusions, and it's happening right here, right away, you, your first-hand experience. For me, I would spend probably a first season of my yacht ownership just just to, to go from, from one excavation to another and so see how things are going and dive together with the, with the scientists. That's my dream. For many people it's, it's fishing, you know, like Bering is the best fishing platform and again you can, you can maybe not participate with Bering in tournaments, however you can, you can have a chase boat which is a fishing boat and you can fish the world. If it's your purpose, you can fish where no one has any fish, have any time fish before. So if you are into bird watching, and again, Bering is a platform which can bring you anywhere in the world where nobody recorded anything or studied anything. So you have to think very broad and very wide. There is no limits. You can be anywhere on our planet if you have true love for sea. That's a good, good home, good uh, platform, good craft to fulfill your dreams.